Hello, this is Brian Cox, and I'm going to do a quick demo on how to create a route on the Garmin website, connect.garmin.com, how to create a route for your bicycle, and then how to download it to your Garmin. First, we can go over to connect, connect.garmin.com. We come up to this website. We need to sign in. If you don't have an account, you need to create an account. Sign in. Okay, and now we come up to this area. And you can see there's some existing rides I have here. You can see some routes. It's actually pretty neat. Uh, but let's plan a route. Let's plan a course. Okay, and now what we want to do is we can create a course from here. So let's click on create. And you can see a map of it, an area right here and elevation information. You can put in a, a name of this. Let's just call it test map. And let's change the location to 91801, which is the area code that I live. This is in Southern California. And we're going to do a little route here. Now what we're seeing is is really something kind of neat is that using this routine you can click from a Google map or an open street map and then you can click on whether or not you want to use the map or the satellite view and then you can click on other options as well. And that's only on the Google option. So let's click Google leave it on the map setting and let's show the terrain and buy a school and heat map. Now what, what's really neat about this let's just zoom in and so what these dark blue lines are are heat maps or routes that people have already used quite often and I'm assuming that the brighter the color the more it sh has shown up in uh, the Garmin sites but let's turn off that, and you can see that we've got a running version and then a, a cycling version. But for purposes of creating this map, let's turn off the heat map. Now what we're left with are the bicycle routes. These are defined bicycle routes. And so let's leave that layer on. And so uh, in this case, we're going to be leaving from Lacey Park here, do a loop around, and then we're going to save this to our Garmin. So let's zoom in. And this is Lacey Park. Let's start here. I just did a left click and started there. And now all you have to do is basically go where you want this, where you want the route to go. And you can just create this route as you wish. And we're zipping up through here. And you can actually change the route if you wish, it, even after it's made a, a change. If you want to, you can sort of do this and the route will change. You can change this connection over to here and you can see it routes around. I'm going to leave it back where it was. Great. So let's continue. Uh, let's do a route here out there. And you can see it does a pretty good job here. Let's go down to here, down to here, then up to here. Matter of fact, you can just take this and go to here and it will complete the route for you. And so what you can see here is that this is uh, a route that's already been laid out now. You, we've got elevation along the bottom. We have It's 5.19 miles long. And we can I'm using my scroll wheel to move in and out. And there's pretty much our route. And so now what we can do is we can just uh, download it directly to our Garmin. Okay, so in order to download it to the Garmin, you need to have first have it plugged in. I have my, my Garmin plugged in through the USB port to my computer. Uh, this happens to be a PC, so I'm going to save this map. 
and now it's been saved and now I'm going to send it to the device. And as you can see, it requires the use of a Garmin Communicator plugin. And so you just follow the directions and install the plugin. I'll go ahead and do the plugin and then I'll resume the video. Okay, we've got the Garmin plugin uh, installed. And so now again, let's send it to the device. Searching for the device, it's found it, it's the Edge 800 I'm using. I'm sending the course there, and now it says it's completed. And so what I'll do right now is I'm going to switch over to a website where I've captured a, a screenshot of what the Garmin looks like. Uh, the website is just G-A-R-M-I-N dot C-O-X-I-N-T-L dot com. Okay. And then uh, click on Planning a Ride Garmin 800 and Garmin Connect. And so right here is the video that uh, we've just recorded. And once you've downloaded it to your Garmin, turn on your Garmin and get to this screen right here. Then click on Courses and you'll get to this screen. And as you can see, we were at the test map. And so these are other courses I've saved. And so click on test map and you'll get over to this little screen here. And as you can see, this is the course that we saved. And so what we want to do is we want to configure it. I don't happen to like the, the black line. I would rather have something a little bit brighter. So you click on the little wrench over here and you'll get up to this display here. Again, it has the name test map. And what I want to do is I want to turn the guidance on. I want to turn the virtual partner off and I want to leave the course warnings on. So I simply click those as I go. And once I configure that, this is what the screen will look like, which will be turn guidance will be on, virtual partner will be off, course warnings will be on. Now I want to actually change the color of the map. So you click on map display, you'll get over to this page and I want always display to be off. This is currently the color of the route that we saved and course points on. So I just want to change the color. So once you click on this, you scroll these buttons up and down until you hit the red one. I happen to put red on mine. So you would click the red and you get to, this is what the display would look like. And then you hit back now we're back to where we were previously and we have turn guidance on, virtual partner off, course warnings on, map display. And so we click back again and then we're back to the map. And so this is the map that we have. And when you're ready to, to start the ride, just click on go and there you are. I hope you find this useful.